Let us look on to how to add or subtract fractions together. To add or subtract fractions together, it is very important to know how to find the LCM of numbers. LCM stands for the lowest common multiple. So there are two simple ways for you to add or subtract fractions together. Number one is by finding the LCM of the denominator. And number two is by transforming the denominators to be exactly the same. Let us add some fractions together. So first we want to add 2 over 3 and 1 over 4 together. To find the LCM of 3 and 4, you have to find that number, that smallest number which 3 and 4 can go into without remainder. If you don't know how to find it, you perform a successive division of these two numbers, 3 and 4. By prime numbers, you start with the smallest, which is 2. If 2 cannot go, you test the next prime number, but 2 can go since we have 4 here. It cannot go into 3, you drop it down, but it can go into 4 two times. Still, we have 2. You test for 2. This is 3 and this is 1. Once you reach 1 here, you only have to test the other one. 2 cannot go here. The next prime number is 3. It can go into 3 one time. Multiply these numbers together to obtain your LCM. 2 times 2, 4 times 2 is 12. So our LCM is 12. Now take this number here, denominator 3, plug it into 12. It can go there four times. Multiply by the top number, which is numerator. Drop your sign. Take this, plug it here. It can go there three times. Multiply by 1. 4 times 2 is 8. We have plus sign. 3 times 1 is 3. We have divided by 12. 8 plus 3 is 11 over 12 as our final answer. You can also obtain this 11 over 12 by transforming these denominators to be exactly the same. To transform these numbers to be exactly the same, you have to know their LCA, which we have found to be 12. So we are going to transform each of these numbers to be equal to 12. To transform 3 into 12, you have to multiply it by 4. But in equivalent fraction, if you multiply the denominator by any number, you have to use the same number to multiply the numerator times 4. We have done justice. Times 3 to make it 12 times 3 for equivalency. This is 8 over 12. Because 4 times 3 is 8, 4 times 3 is 12. Our sign plus 1 times 3 is 3. 4 times 3 is 12. Once two or more fractions have the same denominator, you are free to add or subtract their numerators. This plus this is 11 over 12, as required. Now let us test for subtraction. The LCM of 5 and 25 is 25 because 5 and 25 can go into 25 without remainder. And that is the smallest one, 25. 5 can go into 25 5 times because 5 times 5 is 25. Multiply by the top number 30. Drop your sign, minus. 25 can go into 25 only one time. Multiply by the top number 2. This time this is 15. Minus sign, 1 times 2 is 2. All divide by 25. This minus this is 13 over 25 as required. This is our answer after subtracting 2 over 25 from 3 over 5. Using the other method by transforming their denominators to be exactly the same, we can say, uh, we know if we multiply this by 5, we shall obtain 25. 
if we have to multiply the numerator by that 5, 5 times 3 is 15, over 5 times 5 is 25. So 15 over 25 and 3 over 5, they are equivalent. We subtract, this is already 25, so we leave it that way. 15 minus 2, because they have the same denominator, we have 13 over a common denominator, 25. And this and this are exactly the same. So I think this is the simplest way. Just transform their denominator to be exactly the same. Add or subtract denominators. Now let us see how to subtract and add fractions together. 5 over 2 plus 3 over 4 minus 4 over 3. So first we want to simplify this. Remember, our first method is by finding the LCM of these denominators. The LCM is um, 12 because all of these three numbers can go into 12 without remainder. 2 can go into 12 6 times. Use that 6 to multiply the top number. 6 times 5 is 30. Draw your sign plus. 4 can go into 12 3 times. Multiply by the top number 3, you obtain 9. Minus. 3 here is 4. Then 4 times 4 is 16. And we simplify. So now 30 plus 9 is 39. Then 39 minus 16 is 23. So we have 23 over 12. 23 and 12 do not have any common factor. And therefore we stop here. Again, we can transform each of these denominators to be exactly the same. How do we do that? We have to transform them to be equal to 12 because 12 is their LCM. Multiply this by 6 to obtain 12. Multiply this by 6, you obtain 30. We add. Multiply this by 3 to obtain 12. Times 3 is 9. Times 4 is 12 times 4 is 16. All these are corresponding equivalent fractions. This plus this is 39 minus 16 is 23. So we have 23 over the common denominator, which is 12. This is exactly how to add or subtract fractions together. We either take the LCM of the denominators or we transform the denominators to be exactly the same. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos.